Hi, welcome to this tutorial. This is Teacher Raya from Elimu Habs Math. I hope you're well. In this session, we're going to do two questions on finding distance between two points in parallels of latitude. So ho hopefully you would have seen my earlier video that showed how to find the formula. In my next session, uh, after this, we'll be uh, doing similar things, but we're going to find distance in nautical miles instead of kilometers. So in this session, we're calculating distance in kilometers. Okay, so if you want uh, to see the next session then, or don't want to miss it, press the subscribe button right there. I think I'm pointing at the right place. Okay, if not, it's on the right, the bottom right of your screen. Okay, let's start the session then. Okay, so question one, we are asked to calculate the distance traveling westwards from point Q, which is 30 degrees south, 10 degrees east, to point R, which is 30 degrees south and 45 degrees west. So let's put that on a diagram first. You must always do this, at least. Uh, I'm not a good artist, but I just pretend. Okay, so this is latitude. That is latitude. Okay, uh, that means there are this, whatever it is, is traveling on the same circle, small circle. Okay, so 30 degrees south. South is this way. So we have our equator there. We have the primary region here. Uh, 30 degrees, let's say, is somewhere around here. So 30 degrees south and 30 degrees south. Um, and let's say that's our center and we're going to pretend to draw a nice diagram. Okay, I'm not an artist. I wish uh, I could draw more, but hey, I'm too old for that. Anyway, that's our center and there's a point Q, which is on this small circle here, but 10 degrees east. So let's say 10 degrees east, east is that way. So 10 degrees, let's say, is here somewhere. So this is 10 degrees east. And then the other point, which is on the same circle, point R. So let's just say this one is point Q. And then the other point, point R, on the same circle, same latitude at 45 degrees west. So west is on this side and is 45. So this is 45 degrees west. And this is now your point R. Okay, so this, whatever it is, is traveling uh, from point Q. That's our center of the circle. So we're dealing with a small circle. And we are asked to find uh, the distance here. Okay, all the way from Q to R. Now, this is 10 degrees east. This one is 45 degrees. Okay, so what we have here, we have a small circle. I'm going to take this small circle uh, and that's our center. And then we have point Q somewhere here. We have our prime meridian here, which is zero degrees. And then we have 45 degrees on the other side. Okay, so all together from point Q to point R, the total angle then is 10 degrees plus 45. So remember, I call it alpha. That's the, the one that is in the middle of the small circle. So alpha is going to be equal to 45 degrees plus 10 degrees, which is equal to 55 degrees. Okay, so again, we need to find this distance here, which is just the length of the arc. Now you know what the formula is. So the formula, just to remind you, is D equals to the proportion of the circle, which is um, obtained by taking that angle that it occupies, which is alpha, divide by the total angle of a full circle, which is 360 degrees, times the full circumference, basically. So 2 times pi times radius of this small circle, but that's given as r cos theta, where r, the big R, is a radius of the Earth, and then we have cos theta. So what is theta again? 
Well, that's theta is the latitude, uh, which is 30 degrees. So theta is equal to 30 degrees. Okay, let's put in the values then. We've got D equals alpha is now 55 divided by 360 times 2 times uh, 22 over 7 times the radius of the earth, I'm using 6,370. Uh, you can use 6,400 times cos of 30 degrees. Okay, if you work this out, then you will get distance equals to 5,296 kilometers. Okay, so this is the first one. Now, what you need to note about this is this, whatever object is moving around a small circle, and uh, is moving from east to west and therefore we add the angles okay so let's do question two then okay now for question two we need to calculate distance traveling eastwards from point m uh, which is located 25 degrees north 10 degrees east to point p which is 25 degrees north to 55 degrees east so now again we are moving are along the parallels of latitude that means we're dealing with a small circle and the radius for that is going to be r cos theta okay so let's put that in my lovely diagram then okay so 25 degrees north this time so up here i'm going to say roughly is up here 25 degrees north same thing on the other side uh, and here comes your lovely treat of my lovely art so there you go one day I'll get better at this, but never mind. Okay, so that's your small circle, which is located 25 degrees north. And now we've got point M, which is 10 degrees east. So let me change the color and give you a bit of treatment here. Different colors. Okay, so we've got 10 degrees east. So east is on this side. Okay, so let's say this is your 10 degrees east then okay and then we've got point p this is point m point p then is going to be on the same small circle but at 5 de 55 degrees east so let's just say this is a just a rough estimate okay so this one here 55 degrees east okay so this whatever it is has moved i'm going to get you another color just because i like you guys uh this is point uh, p now so this is point p so this object has moved from there to there now because it's a circle we got an arc there and that's our center so it's moved from there to there now what's the angle there you think because from there to there is uh, what was it 10 degrees and then from there to there the whole big thing is 55 degrees so what we need is just this small one here what we need i uh, will mark it we need this angle here how do we get that we subtract the two so we're on the same side east we need to subtract the angles okay because he didn't move from the prime meridian he, he moved from point m which is 10 degrees east okay so let's draw that circle over here to make it all easy on ourselves okay so point p is over here and then we've got our prime meridian here of zero degrees Point P is 55 degrees from um, from here, and then point M is over here, which is 10 degrees there. We need this angle over here. Okay, so we need just this angle. So what did I call that angle, guys? Uh, I call that angle alpha. So our alpha is going to be equal to 55 degrees take away 10 degrees which is going to be equal to 45 degrees and what's our theta theta is the latitude position of the latitude which is 25 degrees okay we're going to put this on the formula i'm not going to repeat the formula because i want you to practice this find the distance from point m to p then uh, so distance is equal to proportion so it's 45 degrees divided by 360 degrees times 2 times pi times the radius of the earth which is 6330 times cos 25 degrees by the way if you do hear my the noise like a fan is my computer is is heating up it's a bit too hot where i am 
So I do apologize, but I don't want to stop this for now. Okay, so D is equal then. If you work this out, you will get 4,534 kilometers. So that is that. Like I say, in the next session, I'll be doing similar examples, but we'll be doing uh, distance in nautical miles. There are quite a few sessions for this topic, but I know you're, most of you are very keen to learn this. So stay put, subscribe if you haven't over there. Okay, and see you again. Bye for now.